Sun cycles are very important in solar weather and it's something that can affect life on Earth, so it's something that we study very closely. And a study was just released that greatly helps us understand how sun cycles work. Supernova style science news with Jelly Seven Sage. Our sun goes through a magnetic cycle that we've observed by looking at the sunspots. Specifically, they look at the number of sunspots. Every 11 years, the sunspots alternate between the maximum number and the minimum number on the surface, thus having a total cycle of 22 years, and sunspots occur closer to the equator. The observation of sunspots can be seen in the butterfly diagram, which shows an average sunspot coverage at one time. There was nothing on the surface giving an indication of why the cycle took 22 years, so scientists had to look deeper beneath the surface. Underneath the surface, there's something called the meridional flow. This is a flow of plasma that circles between the North Pole and the equator and the South Pole and the equator. Because of how deep it was beneath the surface, we never had really any good data on it. But this is a new study by a team of seven scientists led by Lawrence Gazan from the Max Planck Institute, Institute of Astrophysics at George August University in Göttingen, and Center for Space Science at New York University, Abu Dhabi, use helioseismology to measure the meridional flow. Helioseismology is very similar to how we do seismology on Earth. Here on Earth, we can map the matter underneath the surface by using earthquakes, specifically the tremors and sounds that they create. In helioseismology, they use sound waves that are changed by the plasma going through the convection to chart out that plasma. By using this technique, they were able to chart out how fast the meridional flows went through one turnover, which is when the plasma starts at one point and goes all the way around back to that point. They found out that the turnover took exactly 22 years, the same time that the magnetic sun cycle takes. The meridional flow acts like a conveyor belt carrying the magnetic field, and that's why its turnover time is the same as the magnetic cycle. This is really important knowledge about the sun and hopefully will allow us to be able to better predict solar flares and other solar phenomena that could threaten our planet. If you want more information, check out the links below. If you want more cool science news, follow. Remember to share cool science stories with your friends to show your supernova style.